So what we have here is an example of a AGM EV traction product. This is a lead acid battery that is designed for heavy cycling applications. Again, characteristics are usually combination terminals on them, automotive post and stud post. And this battery is designed for heavy cycling application. So if you are running a floor scrubber, uh, off-grid solar system, uh, aerial lift, anything that's being cycled on, on a daily basis or, or numerous times a week, you need a heavy traction plate in your battery. That's going to give you more cycles, which means more, more battery life. These are available in a number of different sizes, 6 volt, 8 volt, 12 volt, basically all the sizes uh, that, a, that a flooded deep cycle battery are available in. So one of the things that you need to make sure that, that you do when you're, when you're running the, the AGM product, uh, especially this product and, and other AGM product, is charging. So charging is, is very important and that being the charge algorithm. So if you're taking a battery and switching out from a wet battery into an AGM battery, you absolutely need to be sure that you're setting the charger to the right setting. If the charger does not have an AGM algorithm or even specifically a discover algorithm that you'll find in a lot of chargers today, uh, you, you can't use it in that. You can't charge it with a wet charger. Basically, Basically, it will bring the voltage up too high on the battery, which will cause it to vent. Eventually, it will dry out and, and get premature failure. So the most important thing that you can do uh, with an AGM product, especially a quality product like this, is charge it right. Basically, the only other way you can do harm to the battery is by over discharging it. So again, charging is the most important thing. Ensure that it has an AGM algorithm or discover algorithm uh, when you're charging an AGM battery.